In this video, we're going to be creating the tangent lines to a circle with the input command bar down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a point A. So I could type in A, capital A of course, equals 0, 0. Or if I just type in 0, 0, 0, it'll assume the first point is called A. And then it will follow, like for B, I could put 3, 0, and it will assume that point is being called B. Now what I want to do is create a circle with a center of A through point B. So I type in circle, right, brackets capital A for point A and capital B for point B and I hit enter and it creates the circle. And now I'm on my way. So for C, I didn't want to point outside of the circle. I'm going to type in C equals, let's say, 5, 4. Now I could have just typed in 5, 4 because this point would automatically be named C, but I'm just typing in the point as C. Now what I want to do is create a line segment from A to C, but I'm going to name that segment S. So I define the variable S. Lowercase letters are reserved for variables. So I type in S equals, right, segment, and then I go from point A to point C. And that's nice because now when I type in the midpoint, I want to find the midpoint of that line. I type in midpoint, and then I type the midpoint of S. Oops, I spelled midpoint wrong. Going back, I wrote midpoint, so I'm fix that midpoint of S. And there you can see it knows what S is now, so it just plugs in the midpoint formula and calculates the midpoint, which in this case is location D right here. Now I want to create a circle with a center D going through point C. Let's call this circle, I don't know, D. So this is circle D, and that makes sense. You can see, I guess here, they label that the first circle, they call it circle C, and there's the formula x squared plus y squared equals 9 for that circle. So it makes sense then, then to call this next circle D. So D is going to equal a circle with a center of point D going through point C. Right? And there we have our circle. Now I want to intersect the two circles. So I type in intersect, and my two circles are circle C, lowercase, and circle D. And there you can see it shows us the points E and F, which are the intersection points. And now to finish and create my line my lines my tangent lines I just define those two lines so I have a line going from point C to point E uppercase and then a line going from point C to point F and those are my two tangent lines let's just go back a moment and have fun I'm wondering because I'm, I'm learning here too because our first circle was C will it automatically name our second circle D or do we have to name it as the as D? So let's try that. So if I create a circle with a center of D going through C, what happens? Oh, yes, it does. Automatically names it circle D because our first circle was C. So that's an automatic process as well. Very nice. All right, thanks.